everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Last episode, Ichi was celebrating the last day of the year 2000 and on the first day of the year 2001, he got called from the, his boss because, well, apparently what happened is that one of the Mafia members, the guy named Joe, Remember the, you know the guy named Joe, the guy who almost cut Iski's pinky off just because he failed to get the money and he only got the wallet? So anyways, Joe kills someone from the different ma Mafia gang and well, the Mafia boss didn't want to get his whole family in trouble for this so he had to banish Iski and Iski volunteered to go take Joe's arrest and well Iski was supposed to get out of jail within 15 years but he ended up getting three more years because of his jail fights and misbehaves so Iski ends up getting out of jail in the year 2019 and well, that's like 18 years after 2001, and now he's in the shorts for his boss because his boss was supposed to meet up outside the jail, but for strange reason, he's not. He didn't meet him up, meet him there. So Iski is about to go look for his boss, and I think he found his boss. But will the boss recognize Iski? Well, I guess I'll find out in this episode. So. Let's go play. You bastard. You think you're getting away uh -oh. with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough, Kasuga. Hey fellas, we're sorry, okay? Now, my friend here, he's he's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! Huh? <gasps> Maybe you recognize him now. No, I don't think you recognize him. Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Or well, maybe the boss is someone no, else. I, he didn't forget me. I mean, shit. He sent me a letter in prison. I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met too. No, he didn't. I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way. I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and. <laughs> yeah, that'll take Let's days. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? Those are good questions. Do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. 
Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Wait, what? Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. Well, I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamurocho 3K plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? That shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel from the Arakawa family. Basically, huh, I wonder who told them. Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Arakawa-san defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> well, he was wearing the gloves, the hat, and he had the same you scar. recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. Yeah. I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. Now come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Then you're gonna go back to jail. You won't come the easy way. I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. 
You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? See right through, you fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Kamrocho, obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamrocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga, there's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. The city looks a little bit the same. What the hell is that? It's a iPhone. Yep, everybody has iPhones. Is that a cigarette? Well, Ichi, welcome to the future. It's really Kumacho, but everything's so different now. First things first, I need to stop by the office. Okay, it looks like I need to go to the office and maybe the real boss is in there and maybe he'll recognize me. I mean, he's probably in the retire position or something like that. Well, let's just go have a look and see if, and see if the detective is really is telling the truth. Ah, there it is. Almost there. This is it, isn't it? It's empty. Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family? Not a family, family, I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who doesn't. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. Ah, <sighs> not sure. 
In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hotshots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. Well, there might be a chance the old lady might be dead after 18 years. But if she's still alive, then... That damage will make it sound like the old caller finally made, finally made it big. Can't wait to see them now. But the problem is, where they go? Couldn't hope to, to ask the old lady at the cigarette shop, I guess. Yeah, but the, you've been gone for 18 years, so what if the old lady doesn't recognize you? Or what? She could be dead. I mean, she was old and... Let's see... What the? Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now. Oh, let's see. Hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. In the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow, people sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait, it's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are. You're lying. Out here with the only symbols, faking like you're Arakawa. Wait, were you in that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just. Tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. And you Tojo roaches. Oh, time to fight. Yep, the battle is on. Yeah. Did Arakawa san really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Oh. Uh, hit up the other families. Don't let them out of control. Oh no, they're gonna call for backup. Uh, uh. That was a close one, huh? <laughs> I 
Uh, champion district? There's a site for soul eyes. Huh? Aren't you... Iski? Huh? Uh, what was your name again? It's me, Michio. I used to want a bar. Huh? Michio? It's been a long time, Is Iski. Oh, man. Finally, a familiar face. Ew, back off. Huh? You wake of smoke, Iski. Huh? I do? Oh, yeah. I guess I'll just at the tobacco shop. Wait, don't you smoke yourself? Eh? Get out of here. I gave up drinking and smoking ages ago. What? Moonshine Michiri went cold silver? It must have been around when you went in prison. I ended up getting pretty sick. It was not either quit smoking and drinking or send them to my oldie grave. So I went cold choking on both of them. Oh yeah, I remember her. She was drunk and she got knocked out. Wow, you really turn around. So, I'm practically a health nut now. No alcohol, no tobacco, no addictives. And I'm eating bell too. I'm trying to get my water intact too. Did you know that 70% of your body is made out of water? Yeah, I know that. Even knowing that, most people don't drink nearly enough water. If you don't get some quality in your water in your... Excuse me. Uh, Michio. Maybe you could ease up on the wall trivia and tell me a bit about Coluccio. What happened with the Choto clan and our Kawasan when I was gone? Mm. I don't know the first thing about it. But your ball was pretty popular with Choto clan, was guys, wasn't it? Yeah. My hell, my ball is a health food cafe now. When I banned smoking and drinking, I lost that type of customer. I don't know what y'all cuss are up to, and I don't want to kill yes about people who don't treat their bodies like tempers. <sighs> uh. But if you're curious, why don't you track down Yoshio? Yoshio? Remember? Your senpai from middle school? Middle school? Oh, yeah, that guy that used to sell the black market stuff. He's a magazine writer these days. And he's fantasizing himself from the gold to guy for coverage on a Yakuza. <laughs> really? Then that's perfect. Well, I have my doubts that he's all a great journalist. He said he's out researching a story and I see him sucking off by Children's Park. Thanks. Children's Park, huh? That's where I'm going then. Thanks, Michio. Swing by my cafe when you can, will you? I got some new spring walk called Aha Define. They say you've been cures illnesses. And fight your friends too. You'll be you'll feel better. <sighs> uh yeah. I'll put that on the list. If you like, I can save you some use at home at the discount. We even have a review program if I wish you as a friend then. See ya. Yeah, anyways, gotta run. Glad you're staying fit. See you around. Not hey, wait! Michio's show has changed. <sighs> I'm glad she's doing well, but it's kind of sad too. Well, maybe I could find Yushio at the Children's Park. Might as well tip check it out. No, uh oh, that'll be the mob. Well, it's best for me to level up. So if I fight enough, I could level up a little bit more, and I'll get stronger.
Uh oh, enemies. Come on. Okay, let's see. I should go this way. We gotta tell you, quit hanging around here. You made a promise, now hand it over. Hmm. Chill out, will you? It's just a picture of you walking and you look, look cool in it. It's not a matter if you're cool or not. The only doesn't want to go a whole pristine. Huh? So, get away or I'll be doing the snapping. Well, uh, aren't there any exceptions? They're gonna want you a mini yard shot if you really want them. That's just crazy. Oh. Is it now? Then say goodbye to your camera. What? Wait! I still owe money on that thing! What, you think I can? Perfectly good camera. Uh? Who the heck are you? I'm gonna talk to this guy. Don't you worry, I'll make sure the shots get deleted. Just make a square, right? Hmm? Aren't you Ichibon? Ichibon and Koshuba? You got out? <laughs> Been a while, you shrill. Hey, is he in the Turtle Clan guy? What? Where's Sue, Saki Hale? It's gotta be him. He's the one that Akosaw found and told us to look for. <laughs> if we kill him, drag him back, we'll, we'll be heroes. <laughs> yeah, those pistols has got small time. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. Get ready for another fight. Don't go anywhere. I gotta handle this trash real quick. Well, what's that? Get him! Uh oh. Gotta be careful. One of them has a knife. No. No. Ow, ow. Okay, I guess I could use his skills against this guy, so... Ooh! One KO! One hit KO! Nice! Ooh, and I level up! Damn, you're strong! We're gonna remember your face, dick! Oh yeah, and I gotta beat you silly you again. Job, you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist. Oh yeah, these picks are going for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and you book your camera. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better run, Kamulop. Kamulop? 
It's a local mascot they made to improve Camarocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Well, a mascot is a cute little guy. Be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family and Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was. You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, yes. No master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? Oh! What How? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Maybe because of the illegal drugs he used them. So I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. But I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. Don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. Then you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! But... Then where would I go? I don't know, anywhere. I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. Oh man! I didn't know that Mafia's son, boss son died. Maybe he got in the gang war, or maybe because of illegal medicine he has been using to make himself walk for a few hours. Well, I don't know how specifically how his son died, but that is kind of sad using a kid. Well, anyways, I'm guessing I have to go check out the soap opera building to see how his. Itsuki's home looks like now, so let's go Well, I don't know I think going to the soap land up was a bad idea and uh-oh You wanna fight? Uh-oh, oh never mind Now.
And then we go fight. Come on, how far away is the place I need to go? Oh, unless they changed it and I probably didn't recognize it. I think this must be it. There it is. Well, it looks a little bit the same. Ah, uh, but it looks a little old. So. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamurocho? <sighs> I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamurocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before, the Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. You got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory, some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so have a lot of chances to get at it. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san. Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? The 
if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now? Hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, for your information, tonight Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting of local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. Um, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Okay, so how do we get to the Arakawa-san's meeting? Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san once promised to take me there, to eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it. This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me. Huh? Wait, nah, don't get your hopes up. It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here, period. That's the reason he picked one of the only ones. Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is I can finally talk to him. Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till I show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here, take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? Congratulations, I got a smartphone now. Well, not only, well, I had to go teach Iski how to use a smartphone now. You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. Okay, you can now select smartphone from the pause menu. This will allow you to check your emails, take pictures, and call a taxi. More smartphone function will be added as I pause this through the story. Okay. So remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? And it's nighttime already. It's finally night. Better go me as to see once I'm ready. Okay, now that I got a smartphone, let's see. Tips, personality. Oh, these are information that I probably already learned how to do so. I'll probably read those later in my own time. Cause right now there's like way too many Stuff I probably already know or don't know. Wait, what happens if I lose a battle? If I lose a battle, you know, I saw I lost half of my money out of battles. However, it'll give me a choice to retry or return to title scenes. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to use any too much battles because I don't want to waste my money. Because if I waste my money, I'm gonna be so mad and I'm probably not gonna have enough money to get some health and. Wait. An enemy steals my items. 
Oh man, there's gonna be some some enemy that could steal my items. Well, if I defeat them, I could reclaim it, but I cannot reclaim the the items if the once the enemy flees the battle. So gotta be careful not to lose too much items. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can use a taxi to get near there, so... Oh, man, but it's gonna cost money! Ah, oh, man, ah, oh, I should've just run towards it. Oh, well. Okay, now, Wills. Great. The dacha zone's not even here. I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you deal with fish and women. Catch, then release. Take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman can tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao. Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure, I guess. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Wait, do you have his phone number? How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. <laughs> a bit behind the times, aren't you? Hey, here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Uh-oh. Shit, he only found me. Fuckwad, what are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girls' bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Oh, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers. I can't even pay the electric bill. <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Huh? This is a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now. <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give an arrest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I can't you got business with him, but get in line. But you get in line! Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit, and that scruffy-ass hair! Yeah? Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo loyalist around here? Supposed to look just like this guy, down to the moppy hair! Sick asshole. Enough about my hair! Ah. So you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? Nick Ogata? This is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping. And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair. Oh yeah, I'm going to defeat you very easily. How was this? Uh, no, it's not an attack, so I'm just going to use my fist. Ow, ow. Ah, come on. Come on now. Check this out. Come on now. Check this out. 
Ah. Okay, I guess one more hit. And I level up. Yay! Did it! <laughs> that looks painful. So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you've just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. Oh, look at one of them up. asking for a measly hundred thousand a month, man. You wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly. And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit. Fine, I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. Fuck you! But fine, take it, I don't care anymore. <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? That means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes, you want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? Wow, I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> oh, that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh, <laughs> my. You are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh, yeah? You might say I associate with people who have, well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me, if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. Probably. Probably not. Very persistent man. I wonder if he's gonna call me to go play bowling or something. Hey there, Kasuga. Who is that guy? First pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one, and Ooh. it was a struggle. <laughs> guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? Well, here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, hope you're ready. Sneak 
again to the Art College Songs meeting. I'm gonna go stop and take a break. So in the next episode, I'm gonna go sneak into that restaurant and hopefully our college son recognize Iski this time and maybe there's a reason why his mafia boss turned against the Tocho clan in the first place. So until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95.